Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It is still um, Sunday, um, November 3rd of 2013, and um, please forgive my very grungy and sweaty looking um, appearance. If you saw my previous video, um, that will explain why I look like this, but um, I'm here to discuss the next vintage computer I am after. Now, this is not as important as the 822 over there, the Packard Bell, but this is still kind of special to me. For those of you who don't know, I've mentioned this a few times in my videos. Um, the first computer I ever used was not the Legend 822 CDT, but instead, in, in the summer of 1995, um, my aunt invited me over to her house and we um and she introduced me to her brand new Gateway 2000 P5 100XL computer. It was a desktop computer, but it was the tower model and that thing was huge. <laughs> now um we had a lot of good times on that computer even after I got the 822 back in December of 95. Um I remember the first computer game I ever saw was um, Mixed Up Mother Goose by Sierra and the first operating system I ever saw was on that computer which was Windows for Workgroups 3.11 and um, she upgraded it to Windows 95 in the early part of 1996 and the cool part about this computer is is that unlike my original 822 she kept that Gateway 2000 and she still has it and um which i think is pretty cool um now here's where i want to go with this video tonight i have made the decision that the next big vintage computer i want is a gateway 2000 pentium computer from sometime in 1995 just like hers now there's one thing i want different about mine Instead of a tower model, I want the desktop model. The reason I want to do this is because of space concerns, especially because the tower model, like hers, is enormously tall, and I really have no legitimate way of storing that or using it as a main computer. And so, um, instead, I would like to get a desktop model, Gateway 2000 Pentium model, a lot like, um, <sighs> and just as is tradition in my videos, I just got a message from Chris Rogers. Thank you, Chris. But anyway, the Gateway 2000 I'm after will look a lot ooh, like this bad boy here. Now, the reason I'm not keeping this one is because this is a 486 model manufactured um, December 21st, 1993. And this is not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a Pentium that looks a lot like this. Um, I would preferably like to have a Pentium that's somewhere between 75 megahertz and 100 megahertz, preferably 100. And, um, and by the way, this Gateway 2000 right here is going on eBay pretty soon. I will let you know when that happens, and you may recall um, seeing a smaller version of this, also with a 486, that I use as my main 486 computer. Um, I am keeping that, but still, it just doesn't have the right feel with it not being a Pentium. So, that's what I want now. I am wanting a Gateway 2000 desktop computer with a Pentium from sometime around 1995. I guess 94 would work too. And yeah, <laughs> hopefully um, I can find one sometime. I've, I see them on eBay quite a bit, but unfortunately they are so expensive. So hopefully sometime I can find one at a very reasonable price. So if you have any um, ideas on what I um, 
on something that I could have, please um, let me know. Anyway, um, I want to get ready for bed now. <laughs> this is Billy Core signing off on November 3rd of 2013. Goodbye.